countless generations have we awaited this moment. struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter, matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. No. You can't just leave it all behind. Fly! We did so much good for the world with this power. We're not gonna let it all go. Please, won't somebody save me? Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... go away. No. You can't just go away. You can't just delete the past. But you can learn from it. Clive! Clive! Listen to Joshua. God damn it, listen to Joshua. He's trying to wake you up. This is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. Brother.
remember who you are. Clive. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless... He has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? Damn it, Clive. Wake up. That... That... Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place... Eh? again does my creation stray from the path laid before it. Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little you know of suffering.
And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking and back to their origin. Bloody crystals cracked. So where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you and none. Thank you. Oh shit, so he literally took the city capital and just started floating down with it. Back to their origins. I need to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine, and I'm going to need Otto's help. Origin, he called it. But the origin of what? Hmm. Maybe that is how they tra traveled from world to world with their magic. And if they leave, they take the magic with them, but our world can survive without them because we won't have the blight. 
White follows them. Not There's us. something about it. Oh, there's a lot of people that aren't talking to me. What will it be today? Allow me to educate you. Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Now the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Vanistian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canber is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way, from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above. Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off.
Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Joshua seemed upset. Unless you've taught our chocobos how to fly, I won't be scouting this one for you, Clive. You're on your own, but not alone. Welcome back, Sid. How am I getting on? Ah, oh, about as well as you'd expect of a barmaid pouring sour ale for penniless outlaws in the middle of the Deadlands. And it'd be worse than that if Molly here didn't make the best stew this side of stone here, even if it is mostly just yesterday's leavings. Don't tell her you heard that from me, though. As if setting our people free wasn't enough. Good news, everyone. The casks have been liberated. Here's to Sid. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're not leaving already, are you? If there's anything special you fancy supping on before you go, I'd be glad to make it for you, as long as it's brown. Clive. Coin purse weighing you down. It'd better I'll be here. Finished, are you? Trouble with your gear, or...? Yeah. The weight of all that shit. Clever girl, that one. So, will it be? Forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to East. But as soon as the rebuilding work is complete, I shall. <laughs> New life. While the going was slow and not without an occasional run in with some stackling orcs, I saw Edda back safe to the Shadow of Coast, where Mid was waiting kindly with the Enterprise. On the voyage home, I like to think the poor lass opened up a little, telling us about her life and the life she wants for her baby, but I suppose it is up to us now to make certain that little one gets it. Yeah, but she's better off with us than being surrounded by zombies. I mean, shit, she's better off with anything. Wait, why is that door just open? Jill. If this origin is a mother crystal it must be destroyed like all the rest we've come too far to give up now if this origin is a mother crystal it must be destroyed like all the rest we've come we too try. far to give up now we will That's right, <laughs> the medicine chest. 